now to the ANZ Stadium here in Brisbane, the home of the Brisbane Broncos in 1993. It is O'Neill, Hancock, Morganson, Khan, McKenna, Kevin Walters, Langer, Keating, Plath, Hone, Gilmeister, Can, and Madison. And now the Steelers. They take the field. Their first visit to ANZ Stadium. And it's a very strong team on paper that uh, Graham Murray is able to field for today's game. Let's have a look at it. As the last of them comes uh, onto the ground, Riolo, Wishart, Rodwell, McGregor, O'Mara, the Simon brothers of the halves, Craig and John, Waddell, Schifoletti, Goldsbink, Linda, Pincinelli and Cross, and they're coached by Graham Murray. But Wishart had a fine game on Monday night in the Origin encounter. And uh, he's looking forward, of course, to repeating the dose here in front of the Brisbane crowd today. And, uh, Bill Harrigan is the man in charge of this game today. Time on, and the kickoff taken by Julian O'Neill, sending it down, and taken on the feet there by Neil Pincinelli. He's the first of the Steelers to get a touch, and joining me in commentary for this big game is Peter Sterling. As Illawarra takes one to the right, then one to the left, and they play it on the halfway mark. John Simon to his brother Craig, and then there's a decoy run before McGregor comes into the back line. He draws three defenders, gives Rod Wishart a little bit of an opportunity down the touch line, but he's put into touch. 40 metres out from the Brisbane line. A good tackle there from McKenna. Wishart did his best to stay in the field of play after some good work from McGregor. Didn't give him much room to work in, but there you see a good shot, and there's the foot on the line. The game no ground from all of that. Gilmeister plays at Trevor Hone, uh, Mark Hone, I should say. He's brought down now, 42 metres out from the uh, Illawarra line. This is the last, across to Langer. He's... Oh, charged down by Pincinelli. This should be try time. Craig Simon is being pursued by Julian O'Neill, but Illawarra goes on to score the try. Pincinelli was the man that put on the charge down. One pass, Craig Simon, and uh, it's Illawarra leading by four points to nil. And that's something that Illawarra are very good at. The pressure on the kicker is always strong for the Illawarra side. Great work. Got the good bounce, did Piccinelli. Knew that he didn't have the speed to go on with it. Craig Simon, just a little bit too much pace for Julian O'Neill. A great start for Illawarra here, but these, time, these kind of things, you go up ten times and you come up empty nine, but the important one is when you do happen to get a charge down, and Piccinelli did well. He had two or three players outside him in support and selectively chose Craig Simon for the try. Wishart, the 13 goals in his bag for the year. He should just really eat this one up from 12 metres out right in front. Oh, hang on, no, it's over. <laughs> it only just got in there, but it's two points. And Illawarra lead Brisbane, 6-0. Sunday night football. Keating was originally named there, so very late there has been a change for the Broncos. Morganson cross and this is Khan in the unfamiliar number four. Oh, he put a great fend on, he's got loads of speed he's 30 metres out, bumps away from John Simon, here comes Brendan O'Mara who he palmed off half an hour ago and Brendan makes the tackle this time, quick ball away for Langer, 20 metres out oh Madison's pass was a beauty unfortunately pressure was there again from Bobby Linda on uh, Peter Ryan wearing that 27 shirt now Gilmeister, Brisbane on the attack for the first real time in the game. Langer, floating long pass. Kevin Wilders passes badly, and Khan is brought down 15 metres out from the line. This is the last tackle. Kevin Wilders will put it in the air, and it's a very, very high kick. Everybody will be on side, but look at little oh. David Riolo. He came from the back and was able to outleap them and give Illawarra the uh, possession on their own 20 metre line. He took advantage of the momentum that he had. You see he comes in there at speed. All the other players standing around trying to catch it flat footed. That meant that Riolo was go going to be able to climb higher. He came up with a good catch. Brendan O'Mara certainly learned a lesson there. There's no occasion in a football game when you can allow Willie Khan to get on the outside of you. He did. He made 40 easy metres. McGregor, big and fairly strong. Able to put Simon through a gap. We're talking about John Simon, the half. Oh, McGregor. Wishart, oh, he's bonded. He had support both sides. It's play on. John Cross gets it away. Wishart goes over. It's a try. Try for Rodney Wishart. Well, McGregor should have been under the post, but somehow they were able to come up with the try. Fortunately, the, the hand that knocked the ball down put it down in a favourable position for Illawarra to pick up. 
just a mix-up in defence out wide here. There you see a bad missed tackle. There, that's the missed tackle. That allowed John Simon to get away. It was Michael Hancock. Now look inside, McGregor's unmarked. Should have scored under the post. By the time Simon had decided to pass it there, it was too late. John Simon, John Cross, I'm sorry, did very well to back up. And found a flying Rod Wishart. Made it look a little bit harder than what it should have been. But for Illawarra, for they came up with the, the points in the end. Just watch this tackle, Peter, on John Simon. I don't think the referee really had a, a decision to make. I think he may have thought that the Brisbane tackle knocked it loose. This pass there. Well, there was a hand in it as well for mine. I thought Julian Hill got a hand in it. That's the point I'm making. Yes, and John Cross, as I say, did well to be there. On the two tries that Illawarra have scored, they've had great support play. Two or three players could have scored the try. A little bit upset there, O'Neill. Wishart is about 25 metres out. He's 11 metres in from touch. The breeze is probably with the Illawarra first half. But it is swirling around. The kick looks good off the boot. Oh, straight between the uprights. And Illawarra go further in front. Chewing your boot, eh? 12 0 in favour of the Steelers over the Broncos. Get involved, Alan Langer. There just doesn't seem to be too much zip in this Brisbane performance today. It doesn't come as any great shock, I suppose. They've got several Origin players backing up. It looked fairly high from Wishart there, and it's hurt John Platt. He's on the blind side of the referee. Well, the touch judge has now sauntered in. That's all he's done. He's, he's ambled in. Yeah, but did he come in because the player stayed down or because he thought there was an offence committed in the first case? I do think Plath fell into the, the arm, but it finished up being high. And there'll be a penalty. Here we see Plath getting out from dummy half. Wishart coming across. He didn't fall too much into it. 15 from the line, John Plath at acting half, Langer at first receiver, Kevin Walters with it, turns it inside, O'Neill taken high, Bobby Linder's the man involved. Well, let's have a look at that. There's a pat on the head there from Julian O'Neill to Bobby Linder, of course. They played representative football together for Queensland, so certainly no malice in it. He was coming at speed, O'Neill. Linder got a shot on him. I it was too bad. It's going to be an opportunity to kick the goal, but they don't. Langer plays on. As Langer often decides to do, they've gone for the six, and they're just nine metres out. Plath away from dummy half. Three metres out from the line. Madison has gone into acting half. Away for Can. Puts the head down. Tries to burrow through. He's a very strong man. He's still two metres from the line. Illawarra asked to repel the Brisbane attack. Here it comes, the try. Ryan gets it over the line. Running off Alan Langer and Peter Ryan scores for the Brisbane Broncos. And you'll see it was poor close in defence there. Skiffalitti realised that they, there was a hole next to the play of the ball. He went in to close that up and the players outside didn't react. Skiffalitti went in close to the, the play of the ball. John Simon stayed out and that put a lot of pressure on the outside men. Craig Simon came up with a tackle but going low there was always, there's Skiffalitti. Now look at the gap between him and John Simon, and that meant there had to be space out wide also. Peter Ryan runs in a little bit of an accidental boot there. They just didn't react too well, Illawarra, and let's go back again to the forced pass from Bobby Lindner. First tackle gave possession up to the Broncos, 20 out. Madison. straight between the uprights. No problems at all there for Terry Madison. So 12 points to six is the score. Illawarra leading Brisbane with two tries to one. A real strong tackle by John Plath and Alan Cann was also in support. McGregor fades across the ground, shrugs off one, gets away from another. I thought his pass to Wishart might have had a question mark on it. <laughs> what about the kick from Rod Wishart at the end of it? That was a question mark over that one too. I think you're right. I think it was a forward pass and Wishart not far to go here. He had Hancock. He's just about missed the foot completely. He gets into dummy half. Away to the left for Walters. Madison was out wide. Inside ball. Kevin Walters. He was tackled, but a penalty's been given. Yeah. A player taken out, not in possession. Well, there was a shepherd there, Ray. The inside pass found the support player, but on the other side of that support... Well, no, it's gone. It's gone the Brisbane way. I thought there was a, a shepherd there, but obviously not. I think you'll find, well, he indicated to Skiff Reddy that it was the five metres, but um, I got the impression there might have been a Brisbane player taken out here, not in possession, and I, I stay with that, and we saw it there on the picture. Yeah. Madison 
lining it up to bring the score to 12-8. That he should do and do easily. He does that. There it is. Two further points for Brisbane. And 12-8 is the score in favour of Illawarra. Illawarra then leading by four points in this game. They won reserve grade by 16 to 6. And uh, Willie Kahn brings it back for Brisbane. He's able to get between Waddell and Linda and three or four more. And here's the Australian winger taking it to the halfway. He hears the sound of the voice of Morganson. He takes it five metres further on. That's a tremendous restart to the game for Brisbane. Langer will push the ball, I think. No, he's decided to take them on. 38 metres out from the line. It's noticeable that we've seen Alan Langer run more with the football in this first 30 minutes of football than you've ever seen at the beginning of a game. Normally prepared to just stand and pass. He's really taking the defence on and putting a lot of pressure on. He now goes wide. Walters, a short pass, I thought, and it wasn't really that at all. He hung on almost to the halfway on the fifth. They're not getting field position, Illawarra. Uh, obviously, that's not easy when you haven't got the football, but... Uh, they're not making the inroads that Brisbane are in this uh, second part of the first half. Hancock's going to be forced in goal. Great work there from Wishart. Initially from the centres, both Rodwell and McGregor came up with a good chase. They bounced out of Michael Hancock, but Rod Wishart was there to finish the job. He was half going backwards, and with Wishart's momentum, it's a big play. A strong winger is Rod Wishart, and he showed all of it there. Michael Hancock... Not an easy man to put backwards. Looking to set up for a ruck or two later, and sometimes that means you can miss opportunities. Here's John Simon. They run the angles. McGregor's a chief player. The pass to Linda looked a bit dubious, but he's allowed to go, and he plays the ball 20 metres out. Riolo for John Simon, then across for Schifoletti. Now Big teetzel has got the football, but he can't unload. He's tackled on five. He's 10 metres out. Still a chance for the Steelers. John Simon is going to the air. The chasers are coming through. Rod Wishart in particular. He's got the football and he scores. Did he get it down? It's a penalty. Well, he's been ruled that he's raked the ball out of Michael Hancock. Now, this is a very big decision here from Bill Harrigan. I think that's the decision. It didn't look like an offside call. Hancock catches the ball. And there it is. The referee saying that Wishart took the ball, stripped the ball out of Hancock's possession. And that's backed up, I think, by the by the replay, Ray. Oh, there's no doubt about it. It's a great ruling by Bill Harrigan. Oh, no to the others, to be quite honest. Langer, Walters, Morganson, back inside for Khan. And uh, he's away from Craig Simon. They've started to play touch football, a couple of these Steelers. You can't play touch football with Willie Khan. You fear he can embarrass you. Now... From Langer, it's with Kevin Walters. And there's Trevor Gilmeister. That's got to be a penalty, and it is. Players being held, not in possession. Is there another one left? I'm not sure. Here he comes from 32 metres out, and flags are down. No alteration to this scoreline at ANZ. Illawarra leading Brisbane, 12 points to 8. Line Brisbane. And doing it fairly easily. Langer puts a little kick through, kicks again. Neil Pincinelli has to hurry. Running off uh, one pivot, which takes them practically to the centre of the ground. Pincinelli's pass was a good one. Rodwell strides out, but is taken by Julian O'Neill. He was late in arriving too, Omar. I think he'll be disappointed, Rodwell, with his wingman, as John Simon, second man to Linda. Now looking for support, throws a dummy, but taken by Madison. Getting very involved today, Bob Linda. McGregor a dummy half. John Simon... Shaping to pass it back in field, but he's smothered by the defence. Dummy half would... Oh, Skipper Letty went to sleep at first receiver. Yes, he was organising to see what was on out wide there. Took his eyes off the, the play of the ball. Can't pass, no support. A lot of the things Illawarra were doing well in the first 20 minutes have gone out the door. Brisbane are getting over the ad line, but the markers are non-existent. Waddell just got himself offside and then got involved in the play accidentally. Madison. 28 out, 15 off centre. And he's pushed it right across the face, nowhere near the uprights. And will be considered by Terry as one of his ordinary kicks. He'll play it. This will 
be the last tackle. There's only seconds remaining. John Simon uses his brother Craig. He flicks it out the back, finds John Simon. Now back for Riolo. He puts in a grubber kick, but Kevin Walters is able to clean up and the half-time siren sound. So at half-time in Sunday night football, Illawarra lead Brisbane by 12 points to 8. And they did pay the penalty for that with Broncos getting back into the game. The handling errors, not too bad. They only committed four, but unfortunately again for the Steelers, the ones they did commit were in a bad part of the field. Fair. As Wishart restarts, Illawarra leading by four points. I would imagine Graham Murray would have been saying to them what happened to what we were doing in the first 20 minutes. He was the man that took that uh, that play. Home gets a pass away. Keating, have a look at him stride out for a big man. Grassing tackle by Rialdo. 35 metres out from the line. Kevin Walters turning it back for Michael Hancock. And he's uh, cut down again there by Craig Teitzel. Five gone for Brisbane with Langer, puts a kick in behind the line, Wishart read it well, took it in one motion and was in full stride on the next. He's made a break or half a break and picked up some good yards. Langer, Keating, wrapped up by a couple of the, the big Yellowara forwards in uh, Bob Linner and uh, Pinchinelli. Walters, short pass, Madison floats it away, Khan's heading for the corner, support is coming, one needs support, or did he go in the touch? In touch. He's in the touch. Great tackle there, I think it was David Riola who came up with it. Caught out wide once again, the Illawarra Steelers, Craig Simon is having some problems in defence, his man getting outside him. There you see Simon, missed the tackle, well, didn't come up with a good tackle, Rod Wishart came in and got brushed off. Willie Kahn, the big step to go outside. Good tackle around the legs. It is Riolo. And the line ball decision, but going for the Steelers. And that's one hell of a call over there for the touch, Judge. Riolo was... Oh, McGregor's made a clean break. Support on both sides. Run well away for Riolo. Morganson will catch him. Riolo pursued by Morganson. He changes course. He's, he's tacking to the other side of the bay oh, and he gets the try. Yeah, put the mocker on Morganson. Oh, I catch him. Down for sure. He might catch him, but it won't be today, Ray. But, great break, break from Illawarra there. McGregor slicing straight through. The pass inside to Rod. Well, this is a great centre combination. Missed tackle there. The flying dive didn't come up with anything. And Riolo, well, he's the man you do want to find in support. Morganson did look like he was going to get him. But oh, Riolo, don't admit that. Don't admit that, <laughs> he please. He did do the right thing. He took off the other way and had too much speed. And we've had Willie Carr nearly scoring a try. Alan Cairn was the man that McGregor was able to get outside. Wrong footing Julian O'Neill and David Riolo put the head back. Looking for support. Sees Morganson. He's had four or five looks at him. Knows that he's going to get there and tries to improve the position a little bit does say with Gilmeister getting back there so he didn't take it under the posts. Never in doubt, really, was it? <laughs> Wishart. 18 metres out. 20 metres in from the 16 to 8. He likes it. No, it's hit the bar and come back. 16 to 8 then. Illawarra leading Brisbane. 16 to 8. It's not a margin that you can sort of feel comfortable about. McGregor, he bursts into open space, comes back with support. John Simon throws a terrible pass over behind Pigeonelli, who miraculously comes up with the football. And six again. Six more tackles. Brisbane have got a player down injured. It's Julian O'Neill. Oh. We'll have a look at Illawarra squandering this opportunity. First tackle. They've come up with a mistake. Bad pass out of dummy half. Waddell trying to clean up the bouncing ball. It's a shame that this pass... Well, that was a great ball from Craig Simon. And McGregor coming from in behind at speed. Coming back to pick up his support play. Found John Simon. Now, if, if this pass finds its mark, Piccinelli was outside Hancock, who probably would have reeled him in. This is the real Paul McGregor today. John Simon, I think they're all on. Bari's brother coming fast, O'Mara. 
Plowman's underneath it and he's grasped in goal. Line drop out. Cross. John Simon. Doesn't want to give it to his brother. McGregor's the man that they want to find. He's the man they're trying to put the football in his hands most often. His centre partner, on the, on the other hand, hasn't done a lot today, Rodwell. Tietzel, short passing. Izzard throws the dummy. Second movement, I thought. Yes. It'll be a penalty. It is. The temptation was too much for Craig Izzard. How can they leave seven? He is struggling. You see him limping away. He's got the right leg bandage straight away. Brisbane oh, go wide. Well, he scores. Peter. Shut the gate. The horse is in the bottom paddock. Wishart puts it under the bar. And that could well be the ball game. Their confidence will rise even higher now. 20 to 8. Wishart shredded on it. And it came. And the desire from Brisbane to keep the ball alive at all costs has seen them give away four points here with an intercept. Rod Wishart coming in off his wing. You'll see quick hands attempted here from Terry Madison. Didn't stop and look to see what was happening out wide. And Wishart had come in sniffing and came up with the try and sprinted away under the post. He'll convert his own try. Well, a worried face there on Wayne Bennett. Rod Wisher. Homegrown. A couple of tries for the day. That's his third goal for the day. And the Steelers lead the Broncos on Brisbane soil by 22 points to eight. Get back into it, but they need to do it shortly. Through the hands of the, the half and five eighth. And uh, Julian O'Neill comes into the back line. 22 points to eight then in favour of Illawarra. And O'Neill plays it just outside the 20-metre line. Madison turns it back inside for Kevin Walters. Likewise for Langer. Gets rid of Pintanelli. Puts Plath in a gap. And will he score? Yes. John Plath goes in. Adjacent to the uprights. It's not over yet. 22 to 12 now. And you always have the feeling if you commit a mistake down in your own territory against this Brisbane team, just when and where they're going to punish you. We saw John Simon kick the ball out on the full. Alan Langer. Put the big step on. Good tackle from Piccinelli to stop him. But Plath on the inside. We've seen him do this a couple of occasions this year. Now, the conversion attempt on replay by uh, Madison was straight between the uprights. So Brisbane back at 22 points to 14 now. And uh, Brisbane able to make good yards from the play the ball. Langer pushes it away. Walters promotes. Morganson gets into a gap. O'Neill supports, turns it back for Hancock. Now it's in the hands of Walters. Now it's out for this big man, Plowman again. He gets a pass inside. Madison, Madison scores. Oh, that is a tremendous try. The Broncos really putting it together. It doesn't miss set up a, a finish now. Great ball, as you saw Terry Madison say to the 27 out there in Peter Ryan. The last pass from Madison was also, from Plowman, was also a beauty. Brisbane going wide, there's nothing on there, some sliding in defence, Rodwell can't stop the football. It's just great ball work and support play. Kevin Walters, a good pass to Plowman. He deals with O'Mara fairly harshly. Riolo couldn't keep him out, and Steve Waddell, he did well to be there. A big kick for Madison. Not this time. Hits the upright and glances away. So 22 points to 18. That's what it is now, Rain. John Simon. I'm surprised that Brisbane didn't put more pressure on him, but he's oh, he he's hasn't made any difference out on the full. Well, he continues to flirt with the sideline, and there's no need to. Brisbane, five metres into Illawarra's area. Langer, 15 metres now. On the Steelers' side of halfway. This is young Keating. That's a very good pass. Brisbane on the attack. Ryan plays it. Lang up. Langer runs to the defence line. Hancock. Hancock with a barnstorming run. He's put down five metres out from the line. He's hurt himself, Hancock. And Rod Wishart on the far wing is calling for players. There's no one out there. And Kevin Walters has seen that. Madison's with it. They slid well, Illawarra in defence, and Goldsmith did enormously well there to come up with a tackle and the lock forward. Walters can scorer of two tries in the grand final. John Plath, though, is the scorer of two tries in this match today, and Brisbane are back level at 22 points all. And they won't be level long because he scored the try adjacent to the right hand upright. Not a difficult conversion from Madison. 
And again, we have to go back to a kick from the Illawarra team going out on the full. Unfortunately, Michael Hancock in some trouble and they're calling the sideline. But John Plath, he's been a super sub in the past. He started the game today and he's just come up with the big left foot step, pushed off John Simon very easily and scored next to the post. What a comeback by the Bronco. Madison puts it over the bar and Brisbane are in front. Brisbane 24, Illawarra 22. I mentioned before in the coverage, Ray, Parramatta led Brisbane one day at Parramatta Stadium, 22 points to eight, and got beaten 24-22. Plath a dummy. 25 metres out, this is the last. Langer was thinking about a drop goal, I fancy. It's gone across through Keating to Wilders. There could be another try coming. Riolo forces the ball with downward pressure. That's enough. Back to the, uh, the goal mouth now for the restart. The touch the marker, nor is he you, for that matter. Platt. Strong game by the youngster. 12 metres short of the halfway mark. This is the last. And this will be... Oh, charged down and very nearly picked up. But it was knocked on by Neil Pincinelli. Siren has gone in the background. And Brisbane have brought off one of the most miraculous rugby league wins I've ever seen. 22 to 8 down with about 22 minutes to go and they've come back to win 24-22.